Hi, my name is Demetria Jackson and I'm running for the External Affairs Commissioner position. I'm a criminal justice public policy major with a women's studies minor. Um, I'm in my fourth year, um, but I'm going kind of into my fifth next year because I took a year off this year to work for the CSA in my current position as the Communications and Corporate Affairs Commissioner. I want to represent students because I believe in the student movement and I believe the power behind our collective voices. Um, I think it's important that we have student representatives who will first do the investigative work for us behind any kind of uh, campaign or information uh, that we need to know regarding tuition fees, regarding initiatives that the university is taking on or uh, that the provincial or federal government is taking on. And it's important that you have those people who are ready and willing to do the research for you to get all the information out so you can make an informed decision. Um, and also representatives who follow their own policies and representatives who uh, will advocate for you and fight for what you believe in. I work as the current Communications and Corporate Affairs Commissioner at the CSA, and in my current role, I focus a lot on CSA policies and bylaws, um, and in our policies, we have specific uh, policies that outline the stances that we take as an organization, and a lot of those stances are relevant to the external affairs portfolio. Um, so that's the first asset that I have. The second is that I've already been through the one year cycle of being a commissioner and the ups and downs that happens, whether it be internal issues, external issues, you know, I've been through it all and I've come out the other end. And I think um, if you reelect me, then it'll be an easier transition for me to just jump in the job right away to start immediately. And I won't have to focus on so much transitioning. Um, a lot of the summer, from speaking from experience, a lot of the summer was spent learning about the position for the fall and the winter. And so by re-electing me, you cut out that time and uh, you'll save some money because I'll be doing more work because I won't have to learn about the position. I have a lot of goals, um, one of which is to increase the knowledge that we have about tuition fees. I think as students we don't necessarily have the institutionalized memory to recount how things once were regarding tuition fees um, in comparison to where we are now. And I think having a document that outlines or running a campaign that outlines, um, you know, that brings us through the history of ancillary fees and tuition fees um, at the University of Wealth. But also on the provincial wide scale and the national scale as well. I think students need to know that and uh, I would love to provide that information for students and do all that research work um, so that I can be an asset to students in that way. A second goal of mine is to increase library hours uh, during exam time. A lot of commissioners in the past have said they're going to increase library hours um, and there's a lot of stakeholders involved. and. Being in the current position that I am with the CSA, it's allowed me to make uh, the connections that I need to make for this year, um, if you choose to re-elect me, to kind of start those discussions and make sure that at least something's implemented by winter, um, whether it be a test school. Additionally, there's the integrated plan that's going on, um, and if this is something that students want, if students want to have more extended library time hours um, during exam time, you know, we can make sure that this is something that's integrated or voiced through the integrated plan that's going to be used to direct the direction of the University of Guelph for the next five years. Another goal of mine is to make our campus bottle water free. Uh, we recently just made the blow ring bottle water free uh, and that's amazing. And I think that other students, other student unions have made the same push um, with their universities and they've got it, they've had it done. So. I think it's about time that we look into this seriously and see what we can do. And so if I get reelected, uh, one of my jobs, main jobs will be liaising with the other student unions um, who are of similar size to us, who have gotten rid of bottled water and you know, who have been successful and to learn about their challenges and communicate that back with students and then you know, further make that push to having our campus one that's bottled water free.
So this is a question that I ask myself um, quite frequently uh, during my term as Communications and Corporate Affairs Commissioner. And it's a hard one to answer, uh, but ultimately the answer that I came upon is we have our CSA policies for a reason. Um, our CSA bylaws and our policies are, our, are literally our contract to the students. And so by voting at an AGM, and kind of ratifying our policies and our bylaws, you're saying, yes, we agree with these stances, we want you to take this direction. Um, and so what I've done throughout my entire term is refer to CSA policies. If I'm conflicted between my personal opinions and the opinion of students and not sure if I'm really representing students, I turn to CSA policies because at the end of the day, you guys direct us um, and it's your word, basically. So it's just written into our policy. It's easy to reference. If there's no policy available, I'll either you know ask for more time or um, you know do what I what I think is best. But ultimately, it comes down to CSA policy, and that's how I think uh, it's best to represent students by following our own policies and bylaws. Well, first, I think everyone would agree with me when I say that we have passionate representatives on the board, on the executive, um, at all different student groups on campus. We're a bunch of passionate individuals, and that's one thing that the CSA and the University of Guelph can bring to other student unions and governments and external organizations. Another, uh, another main thing is that at the CSA, the executives function under a non-hierarchical structure, and that's something that's really unique um, among student unions. And I think that that really speaks to our kind of our community-oriented decision-making process that we like to do um, at the University of Guelph and at the CSA. And I think that's something that's a different perspective that we can bring to external organizations. Um, just, you know, not, just knowing that at the end of the day, we're accountable to our students. We're not accountable to a higher president or um, anything internally. You know, we are represented. We are elected. We're represented to. Um, we're elected to represent students, and uh, ultimately, it's the constituents at the end of the day that are our bosses, right? Um, another thing is that we wear our hearts on our sleeves. Like I've mentioned throughout this whole video. Uh, the CSA, we write directly in our policies what our stances are, and so when we're having those meetings with external organizations and when we're having those meetings with, um, you know, other student unions, the government, we can quickly refer to what is a student's position at our university and, you know, how to progress from that. And so I think that's a really important um, benefit at the CSA, and that's, those are things that we can bring towards other external organizations and um, officials. Yes. Uh, okay, so remember to vote March 14th to 18th, and that's next week. Um, you can vote online, the ballot's gonna be in your inbox, and please, please, please vote. Um, Again, my name is Demetria Jackson. I'm running for the External Affairs Commissioner position, and I am the current Communications and Corporate Affairs Commissioner, and it's important that you vote. So even if you don't want to vote for me, that's fine. Just make sure you vote and your voice is heard, and um, yeah, your, your vote matters. So vote. Please vote. Thanks.